Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 14th through the 20th of January, 2024. I hope everybody has had a great week. I do wanna take a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Libra out there. If you find that that's your situation, you may wanna check your other signs and placements. Your messages could be there. Also, please keep in mind the energies can reverse or flip-flop. That is not unusual in a general reading. As always, Libra, please don't try to force yourself into a reading. That's just simply not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Libra? Libra. Libra. All right, Libra, let's see what we have. You are starting out with the Eight of Wands reversed. You have the Three of Wands reversed. And you have the Sun in reverse. So there's some sort of karmic lesson or karmic cycle that is taking place here. I feel like you may have been waiting for something to occur and you're growing impatient. Um, there's a feeling of things being blocked. There's a blockage. You're unhappy about this. And I do see that for some of you, you know, there's a, a sense of being in the dark, not really understanding what it is that's blocking you or blocking this connection. Um, let's, a few of you too, I'm seeing that you may have blocked somebody because you're unhappy with them. Um, and you may be deciding that this is not where your future lies as well. So let's see who is in your energy. Spirit, show me who is in Libra's energy. Show me who's in Libra's energy. All right, so we have the Four of Swords reversed. We have the Page of Pentacles reversed. And the Two of Cups reversed. Yeah, you're, you're in a karmic cycle here with somebody. Um, whoever this is, I feel like they're, they're not speaking, but they want to. And they could very well reach out. Um, they want to reach out. I am seeing that there's been a breakup or a split. You're definitely not seeing eye to eye. You you feel like you're unhappy about this and you're like, you know, like in the dark as to why this occurred. Um, I do feel like this person may feel that they don't have much to offer in this connection. I'm also seeing that this person has gone through a lot of healing lately as well. So let's see the energy between the two of you. The Hierophant. Yeah, there's. this could be a spiritual connection. There is something to do with um, commitment that is at the key of this. It could be as well that um, you might be seeking higher um, guidance with regard to this, Libra. Um, let's see what's affecting this connection. Five of Swords or I'm sorry, five of wands in the reverse. So what's affecting the connection? There's been a conflict here that has to be resolved. Um, neither of you wanna be in conflict. And part of the reason I feel like there's a blockage here is because you're avoiding conflict, Libra. They are not speaking because they're avoiding conflict as well. Let's see the outcome. King of Wands. I do see somebody taking action. Yeah, I see somebody becoming restless, taking action. You could be dealing with a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I see Gemini and I see Taurus here as well. At the bottom of the deck is the Hangman. So this is underlying energy and it does tell me that, you know, there's a situation here that has gone on for quite some time. 
Um, there's a, a waiting. It's almost like you're both waiting for something to happen. But this is this has gone on for a while. So let's clarify. Spirit, why is the Eight of Wands in reverse? Yeah, there's definitely a lack of communication right now. All right, we have the Nine of Cups reverse and the Ten of Wands. So there's been a lot of problems in this connection. There's been a lot of problems here. It's stemming from something to do with commitment. I do feel like you may have blocked this person. I definitely see you're not talking to this person and it's because, you know, there's something in this and it has to do with these problems that you just don't find pleasing. You're you you don't want to deal with. You um it's not fulfilling to you because of all of the problems. Why is the 3 of wands in the reverse? The star in reverse, sign of Aquarius, and the knight of pentacles reversed. So this person may have, you may have felt like you were stuck in this connection in some manner. Um, it has to do with this resolution of a conflict. You're feeling very stuck and hopeless about it. So you may be deciding, Libra, that this just isn't where you need to be. There's a lot of problems here. The conflict is not resolving. Um, there's a sense of emotional imbalance that's been caused because of um, a waiting energy. And I do feel like you you don't want to wait anymore. There's a sense of no longer wanting to wait, no longer wanting to be stuck. Let's see. Um, let's see why the sun is in reverse. Temperance in reverse, and the High Priestess in reverse. Sign of Scorpio, sign of Sagittarius as well. Yeah, so you don't know what to do to heal this connection. And I do feel like uh, you may not be trusting your intuition with regard to this or what type of actions to take. There's a lot of imbalance here that's been caused because of a conflict. The conflict is at the center of this. And avoidance of conflict, to be more specific, is at the center of it. I feel like you're just tired of conflict with this person. There's been a lot of problems here, and you just don't want the problems anymore. So you've kind of stopped talking to this person. There's a a, a sense of kind of blocking, if not physically blocking, emotionally blocking this person. Because this person um, or this relationship, this connection, is leaving you feeling unbalanced. You really don't know what to do to heal it. Um, and you may be, you know, beginning to realize that you this is making you unhappy. All right, so let's look at their energy. Why is the four of swords here? So this person wants to communicate. They're like, it's like they're on the verge of communicating. Justice could be dealing with another Libra, or they may just be very focused on you. Yeah, they're planning to communicate. They're planning to communicate and to balance things out. Um, there's a sense of wanting to do the right thing, but they're in that planning stage. I don't see them taking action. There's a need for someone to step up to the plate to take action here. The person in your energy is planning to communicate and balance it out. They want to bring justice to this connection. Ace of Pentacles and the Sun. Wow. So while they're not speaking right now, they've realized that they want a new beginning with you. They want a stable beginning. They feel like this would make them happy, but they're not they're not saying it. Let's look at why um the two of cups is in reverse. Why is the two of cups in reverse? Four of wands reversed. 
and the seven of pentacles. So they want to invest in the connection, Libra. They're being very patient. There's an ending here. I, I'm getting the sense, Libra, that this person is in another connection or a marriage. And if that's the case, there's no, they're not seeing eye to eye with that other person. And there's a sense here of wanting to end that connection so that they can properly invest in the connection with you. They've realized that they, they could have a very stable connection with you. But they're being, they're being rather patient. They're kind of waiting to see what's going to happen here. So their energy is, is kind of holding off, waiting to see what's going to happen, making plans. It's like uh, they're making the plans, but there's no action that's being taken. They definitely are focused on you. They want to do the right thing. They want to do things the right way. But this person sees you as happiness. So let's see why the... They may be in a commitment already. Five of Wands. Yeah, there's competition. There's competition. Ten of Cups reversed. They're not happy in a commitment. For some, this person is married. For others, this person is in a long-term commitment, but they're unhappy. They're not emotionally fulfilled in it. You're seeing the problem as being competition. So not only is there conflict that's occurred because of that, but there's competition here. You don't want anything to do with that. So you've blocked this person. I don't see you talking with them. The problem has to do with the conflict that occurred. And for some of you, this person is in another connection. And they're, they're taking their own sweet time about ending that. So I I do see I do see that they're they're making plans though. They are making plans to communicate. Let's see why the five of wands is in reverse. Because for you this is the problem. Death card in reverse and the knight of swords. Yeah, they are going to come forward and communicate with you. They're going to tell you that they want this new connection or that you make them very happy. They're going to move from not communicating to, to communicating. It does look like they've you're both trying to avoid conflict here, but the conflict is already present. Now, in your energy, Libra, I'm seeing that you're feeling kind of stuck. You there's This person is still in your energy, but it's not everything that you had hoped it would be. And I do feel that you feel that things are not moving forward, and yet you can't quite get this person out of your energy. And you do feel that this person brings um, a, a sense of, they bring a sense of imbalance to you emotionally. But it has to do with competition and conflict. And you just don't, it's like your energy is highly saying, I'm not having anything to do with conflict. If you want you want to fight, then okay, you're right. Go ahead, but I, you're not going to be in my energy. I do see, though, that this person is still in your energy, but it creates imbalance. And I do feel like you've waited around for this person, but you're tired of waiting. And you're not going to be in competition with anyone else. So I do see them coming forward to tell you that, you know, you make them happy. They've realized that this could be a very stable and a, a really wonderful connection. The connection that they're in, they're emotionally unfulfilled in. All right, so why is the king of wands here? Why is the king of wands here? I, I see somebody taking action by the end of the week. We have the Magician Reverse, Gemini. We have the Nine of Pentacles Reversed. And we have the Seven of Swords. Yeah. So there's a lot of attraction here that you both feel towards each other. 
but I do feel like you feel this person is being deceptive, that any investment that they make into this is more sexual and that they're investing in a deceptive manner. And it's because they have, so, they have something that has to end here and they're taking their time about ending something. So you don't wanna be in a, in a situation where you feel like there's competition. So you're, you're kind of saying, no, this isn't going to come through. This isn't going to manifest because you're not single. Um, I do see that, again, that imbalance and not knowing how to heal the connection, not really trusting your intuition. So even if this person comes forward and tells you that they're single, you don't trust it. You don't believe them. They may be telling you that, that they're ending something, but it's going to take some time but you're you're not believing them. You're you believe that this has to do only with sexual attraction on their side. So let's see. The bottom of the deck is the three of coins in the reverse. Underlying energy, and that has to do with a foundation that is is ending, crumbling. It also tells me that both parties might be a little bit uncooperative. Both are one. Um, and it's because of this waiting. There's a lot of waiting. And I can see, Libra, that you're tired of waiting for this person. Now, I do see them making a decision to come forward. They're planning it right now. They are going to try to come forward. Um, it might be impulsive. And they may not come forward in the best of manner. It could be rather brash how they, you know, come forward. I would have rather seen like the King of or the Knight of Cups here um, because it seems a little aggressive the way this person is coming forward to end the conflict between the two of you. And I do think that that's going to have an effect on you as well. But I do see them coming forward, making a change, but you're not going to believe them. Yeah, you, you don't trust it. So let's see um, if you get any guidance. Yep, you did. Let's you may want to get a question in your mind. I'm using the angel answers. So get a question in your mind and let's see what the angel answers card says. Oh, it says no. So the answer to your question for now is no. Okay. All right. I hope that this has been helpful and it's provided you with some insight into this. Um, if you have resonated with this reading, hit that like button. And if you have not subscribed to my channel just yet, I would be so grateful if you do. Until I see you in your next reading. Namaste.